Okay, so in terms of um, practical skills, I think this is your best to date. Oh. Yeah? yeah. Um, so there are some issues, tiny issues in post-production, like I said, which is just a matter of finessing those crossfades. But that's what I'd be looking for in something that's going to reflect a professional standards, which we'd be looking at for a distinction. Yeah. So I definitely think merit now for practical skills, really good. And what's good is you're always open and honest about things you need to do to improve. So yeah. I know for FMP, you're going to, you are going to pick something which promotes the areas that you feel comfortable in. So. Yeah. Documentary, for example, I already know in my as soon as Chris said it, I can hear you already taking charge of those interviews, <laughs> doing the yeah. face to face camera yeah. bits, and then any other little bits in editing that need tweaking. It's documentary is not going to be as difficult as short film in terms yeah. of editing, but it will again challenge your skill set. So I'm looking forward to that. This is fantastic, and continue to do this, okay? Because yeah. I know it started off as like a bit of a funny a joke, joke, yeah. But presentation is really important. And remember, I said to you about when your website didn't shout at least, and now yeah. it's much better. Everything's clearly organised. You know, it's consistent in layout, etc. But this is really important because when I click on it, I already have a feel for what's going on. Like yeah. that simple arm on the shoulder really promotes the rapport that I got when I listened to your show. So that's really important. So make sure you continue to do that, okay? okay? In terms of research, so you said you enjoyed the research better this time. Yeah, well, I've always enjoyed research. It's always, like, my favourite bit. Yeah. Um, so many don't say that. I yep. think it's because, like, we did a lot of theory in high school, so I'm just used to that. Yeah. And, like, I enjoy that bit. Um, so, yeah, I re and, like, again, like, finding out loads of different stuff that I didn't even know. Good. Just for one thing. Your bibliography is getting much better now in yeah. terms of, I think you've got to grips of what exactly you need to do for each one. And don't forget that as you obviously, particularly for FMP, the couple of things that I need you to be working on if we're going to make sure that you're working solidly at a merit, but also elements of that distinction. You're really good at saying what, what you found out and how it links to your idea. So even on that defamation bit at the bottom, I remember you wrote something down here. Um, due to this, what could happen, what you need to do, etc. So that's good. You're not just saying this is what defamation is, okay? What we need to do now is think about your sources. Okay. Yeah? So not just internet. So... For example, when you look down here, you've got websites, websites, yeah? So yeah. think about different types of sources that you can use. Also, primary research, okay? So we've got your questionnaire, okay? And you guys did your focus group as well. Mm -hmm. But it's making sure, and even more so for FMP, is that that research is t planned timely, okay? Mm -hmm. So because obviously in the beginning, I'm trying to get you to used to what a questionnaire looks like, what makes a good questionnaire, where to distribute them focus groups, how to actually control that. And you was very good at doing that from the onset. But it's now making sure that they're actually purposeful, not just doing it because I'm telling you to do one. Yeah. So you know, particularly with the class, it can be like getting blood from a stone sometimes, getting them to talk in focus groups. But that may be because they don't know anything about your topic. Okay. And that's why people in your focus group have to be people of your target audience. Yeah. So for your FMP, I would like to see you organising timely focus groups of people from your target audience to actually get solid opinions yeah, yeah. and then the same in terms of post-production so your evaluations are always really detailed and you always give me lots of examples to support the points you're making um but what you need to do now is you know like when you get feedback after yeah. using that to inform what you're saying so if you're saying something's really good back that up with something that's already been said okay. by someone in your target audience yeah. yeah and then when you finish your final edit hold a public test screening. So I'm not expected to be at the professional standard that I'm getting second years to do, but I would expect it to have people of your target audience in. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. So then when you're saying, I think this show um, really links to my initial intentions and target audience really enjoy it, this has been supported by a member of my target audience who said X, Y, and Z. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. What you also need to be doing is um, comparing to professional practice. So if you look at the criteria down here, it says professional communication, okay? That will come from, are you engaging in your target audience to get feedback, but also looking at the market. So in your research, you would have analysed where you did Kiss and Heart, all those radio shows. Compare that to your product, yeah? So if you think that your show isn't professional because there's some issues with volume levels, for okay. example, yeah? This isn't apparent in any professional show. So for example, in this 10 second segment of, um, I don't know, um, the breakfast show on Radio 1, 
you cannot hear any difference between a, a dialogue, music, and the idea, and they're all the completely the same sound. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. So directly compare it back to the research you've done. Okay. And if you enjoy research, that should come quite naturally to you. Yeah. Okay? But you're doing really well, and last time I think these areas that are in the other yellow, some of them were touching on, but not. You're definitely here for research now, okay. solidly, okay? And planning and production. Your planning and production was on point, this pro this um, project. I think you felt a bit more comfortable with what you were planning. I think it's because, like, it was something that I really enjoyed, like, because I think the type of music that we were putting in there is, like, what I listen to anyway. So that, like, kind of worked. Yeah. Yeah. I think also that presentation... Um, can be highlighted because I think your pictures are always really, really detailed. You're always well prepared. You always step up and respond to questions. And this bit here, communication of ideas. You communicate your ideas clearly. I know exactly what it is that you're doing. Yeah. yeah. And like I said, even with that simple picture, that shouts a lot about your um, yeah. your production. And that's exactly what presentation is. That's really important. Evaluation of reflection. I can clearly see why you made decisions and how that linked to the final outcome. But just remember what I said about now stepping up here to this level. Yeah. All right. Practical skills. Consistent and appropriate processes. I definitely think so. Um, context. The reason I haven't highlighted that one is because it didn't shout club. Classic, yeah, that's and that's the only thing. Um and I think in terms of problem solving, this one's always a difficult um, criteria and it doesn't apply obviously to every unit. So remember this is FMP, yeah. whereas FMP you write a whole segment on what you can do to problem solve. I don't feel your group came into problems because your planning was so good, which kind of made, <laughs> I kind of just didn't bother looking at problem solving yeah. for you, but kind of, it kind of just, there wasn't really any issues, it all kind of like all came together. The only like problem we had was that like, I had to add in one more song because there were so many bits that like I had to edit out because you could hear me like stuttering or have said a word wrong or yeah. something and it like it's only little bits but it came to so added up a lot. Yeah. And that's what I mean, seconds count. You know when I said about advertising time, somebody cut out like the end of their adverts, like you missed like the last bit. And I said, if you were buying advertising space, you know when we went to global, you pay by the second. Mm -hmm. So you would be mortified if they cut three seconds of the advert off because three seconds in speech is a long time. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. That makes sense. So you're doing really well. Um, just make sure now you know what I've said about that evaluation when it comes to a short film. Think about questionnaires or whatever you're going to do at the end, like you have done, but use that to inform the point you're making and then refer back to the interactive short film that you analysed in your research. Okay. Is that cool? Yeah.